Um, good morning, everyone. And today is the question. Question meetings about the this journal paper. Um, if you guys have any question that you can just ask me, I will just um, reply in the meeting. And also, um, previously in the YouTube comments, Alice has asked some couple questions and also the app. So I just wrote some answer here and then we can see and maybe discuss further. So yes, first, and um, excuse me, uh, since like uh, not Liu Yu or Dong Fa or Wei Hua or Xian also uh, ask questions, please do ask. Yeah, so like make it make sure in advance. So we have this kind of format that we have the recording of the video of the journal app. So we uh, watch it, we listen to it, we read the paper if needed, and then we ask uh, questions of like what is not clear. Like if you don't ask me, like everything is clear and, and everything perfectly explained, and, and you don't have any problems whatsoever for the paper, and you totally agree with the assumptions of Bernard. That's what, what it means. Okay, if it is like that, then it is fine. Then you can just write a thumbs up and say, ah, everything is great, I agree. Okay, that's also a great plan. If you have some questions or something is not clear, please write there, okay? Or if you have some problems to access and write in YouTube, you can just write it somewhere else. Or like today we have a session, you have a chance to ask them. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Sort of that. Okay, so the first question is, are the pathway activated by MG uh, relative to P53 pathway? So um, in figure four. Let, let's talk yeah. methyl glyoxal. Okay. Let's not talk MG. Why do we need to say MG if we take, it can say methyl glyoxal? That's easy. Methyl glyoxal. Yeah. yeah, so if you... Can if you have the paper on your hand, then you can see on well, figure four they actually confirm the involvement of um for C S G K one in in lifespan extension by action to S E coli, which implies that this E coli block the inhibitory effects of talk and S G K one on deficit activities. And also figure five say. Uh, wait, 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 where? What do you point to? So, um, you, you are now, asking you can just use the mouse, okay, in order to point. You're pointing to some, 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 uh, scheme for us, for us, or what? Uh, no, um, um, yeah. Yes, okay, then just point, and make, make sure to use the mouse. Point, just, what do you want to do? So, um, this figure four, then, is, it's stating that um TORC and SGQ1 is um is acting on the um lifespan distension here and it actually is blocking the lifespan distension. And they also did some experiment that say that actually as is blocking the inhibitory effects of the TORC and uh, sorry, what, what is what is blocking HNS? HNS is blocking the inhibitory talk. SGK1 affects on deficit inactivity. So, which means that? Um, excuse me. HNS is blocking inhibitory activity of, of TORC. That's what you're saying. Yes, because TORC is. Um, okay, you, is inhibitory. You, it is a very complex statement. Yeah, yes. HNS is blocking an inhibitory uh, effect on TORC. Can you can you digest it in a more simple way, please? Okay. It is it is very difficult to, 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 to follow. Yeah, so so maybe first we can see um simplify. So um, you can see torque torque here and it's um activating SGK1. They, they, they are in the same line. And then but SGK1 is blocking fossil that is thing here. So they blocking fossil to blocking the um, in lifespan extension. And what I mean that is they are also um so as she as um as an S you call them mutants is actually acting to block this inhibitory effects of the work as you can want. By the way that um 
So, so you can imagine that when it blocks the torque and has to You mean the mutation, the, yeah. mutant, the mutation of H and S. Yes, yes. The mutation of H and S would inhibit the torque, uh, the torque complex two activity, correct? Yes, because they, they are blocking the depth. Right. Area. So, and for figure five, it say that um, let me see. Um, metabolizing bacteria is to activate toward those um, inhibiting that system. And right now we're talking about the, the metabolize of the HNS. So it's not HNS really now. But it also say that it's blocking the torque. So um, it means that MG is also not a, a, not a good thing for the longevity of that. What, so, what, what is that really? It's not. It's not for. Um, it's what, not increasing the lifespan because what, what, it's what, sorry, what is activate that? the torque. What What is not? Uh, MG. Methyl black. Okay. Okay. But um. The methyl black is uh is also the metabolite which is uh, being produced by the E. coli. Yes. Yes. More if this uh HNS um gene. Is not blocked. Yeah. Correct. So, and then. And I try to steer it so that it yeah. makes it simpler for, for everyone to understand. So for the torque um, SDK one pathway, and it's actually a different different pathway from the P fifty three, uh, which is um having the homolog CEP dash one. Uh, excuse me. Um. You're referring to the scheme here, or no? Oh, I'm just, I'm just, um, yeah, but there, that there is, 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 is there is a scheme here in P53, yes. yeah. yeah. So then, but right now, in this paper, they are not, um, they have not claimed anything about P53 yet. Why, why is reading so confusing that there is like activatory, uh, no, I, I just, I just. Uh, just um, take yes. out some. No, I mean, why? Why are some of those uh, red uh, kind of blocking, blocking arrows as well as like the activatory arrows at the same time? Uh, this is a little bit confusing. Yeah, yeah it's not. Um, it's not I just, I just want to say that it's not. Um, it's different. I don't different path. So I, I, I don't understand what you mean here. Like, it's like, different pathway. So I, I, I think I just mean that they are not in this. In the same line. No, no, I'm asking about this pathway on the left uh, top corner. Yeah, so it's what you're talking about. So I'm, I'm not very clear that about this pathway. So it, it is kind of confusing that it has both activation yeah. and inhibitory errors. Why did you include it? I didn't mean to include it, but I just showed that P53 is something different. If you don't mean to include it, don't yeah. include it. If you include it, you can discuss it and, and explain like, what you want to talk about. Okay. So in the, in the paper, it has, has not said anything about previous. Okay, that's the answer to yeah. uh, Alice's yes. uh, question. Okay, so that's maybe you can yeah. also tell about. Wait, I, do you think it's really enough for us to do to, to Yeah, this? maybe you can ask more about the figure. Um, not, not, this figure is not from the, the paper. I know. Yeah, so I just... Um, just um, so uh, so what we see here on the on the uh, top right is actually not C elegans pathway. As, as I see the genes, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's not the elegance. Um, you can. See that that is this one is the elegance. This on the bottom is the elegance. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I see you want. Um. <laughs> okay. 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 Do do you have any? That that's the okay. main aspect in the paper. The tour for SCP. Yeah. 
Right. Any any questions here? Should we stop or, or should we continue? Okay, let's let's continue then. Uh, so the next question is asking what um, determines the type of the mental health that CIM has. Is this by diet or other way? Um, so yeah, ideally, um, CIM and our culture in uh, maybe key lab, so to stay away from others' contaminations. Um, like other, uh, other contaminations, not others. You're adding plural. As everywhere, also in your video, it's very confusing. It's it's uh, grammatically wrong. Other contaminations. Other contaminations by some pathogenic um, bacteria. So feeding the cyanide is the only way to um, you know to this type of bacteria in this test. That that's the only way like that. That was Alex's question. Yeah. And um, question three, she's asking how many genes um, stay in the section one and which is um, anti modality genes here. And these genes are actually um, anti modality genes and they, they over expressing it in the environment. And they're trying to find whether this uh, overexpression antinogenity genes has actually impacted the lifespan of the CIA. And they find out that some of them actually enhance lifespan, which is some uh, of this bacteria enhance lifespan by 20%. So um, it's really interesting. Um, Conclusion that this thing that wait, wait, antimodogenity genes are on the left. Yeah. They didn't overexpress anti-longevity genes, they overexpressed only longevity genes, longevity promoting genes. Uh, look on the right side, on the right side, we have longevity promoting genes. If you if you uh mutate them. Then the uh, survival is decreasing. If you overexpress that, the survival is increasing. Mm -hmm. What you just said is that they overexpress the anti longevity genes, which I don't see supported by the, by the data. I think they overexpress only pro longevity genes. Uh, it's in, in the We generated 24 different E. coli mutants overexpressing the gene associated with anti longevity. When mutated. With anti longevity, when mutated. Okay. What does it mean? This means that they are pro longevity. Okay. okay. It's written anti longevity when mutated. It's complicated for you. Imagine how it is complicated for all of us to hear how how you di try to digest it on YouTube. So, uh, um, so this conclusion that they're trying to say that the genetic background of the gut microbes is regulator of the host longevity. Uh, sorry. Say again. I, uh, I, yeah, so the, that's the conclusion that the reason that they did this is is to try to um, check the genetic <laughs> background of the gut microbes, which is regulated of the host in general. And then choosing a um, couple of these um, mutants to perceive the mechanism. Um, I have a question. Uh, what the uh, E. coli we represent? Uh, it means E. coli over expression. Yeah, over, over expressions. 
of expression never pl pluralize. You are pluralizing every every now. Don't do this. Yeah. It's wrong. It's not English. Over expression, not over expressions. What? You say over expressions. Yeah, over expression. Yes, not s. Okay, you pluralize every now. Oh, I, I, I didn't mean that. It's, it's just, just. I know, I know, but it's just a habit. It's just a habit. So, uh, uh, question don't try to understand. What does it mean? It's an old expression of what? Of the empty from Germany. It's, it's, it's the, rather problem, yes. Dofa was asking about like what is what is what is the the setup of this experiment. So it, 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 it is a screening. They use different E. coli, uh, where they have a uh, mutation of each uh, particular gene or overexpression of each particular gene. That, that's what they used here. So question four, um, Alice is asking what is the adverse environment in Seattle? So we can go on to all of us. Okay. We end up by the really common, um, but I'm familiar with the term. Is the, is that what it calls? It's actually a stretch resistant and environmental. <coughs> Because and it's it's about the lonely flower state done by sea elegance when the environment is um, unfavorable for the growth and the reproduction. So some environment parameters, including the population density, food supplies, and some temperature changes, they are determining when to enter this stage. Yeah, so when population is really, um, uh, population density is the major influence on that. And also some heat, the really hot temperature. Uh, we all can read it, okay? Yeah, yeah. When you make a talk, talk to every one of us, not to me, to Lulu as well, to Bonsa as well, and also to the camera. Okay, so and don't read from the screen, it's not nice. Okay, so it's it's you can read from that screen, but all, always have an eye contact. Yeah, so, so maybe you guys can if there are some questions that just like to me. No, you need to tell us, you need to suggest. You don't need to read one word by word, we can do it ourselves. Yeah, I know. Your your aim is as a presenter to to, to make sure to digest this. And, and give a, a take a message. Just explain by your own words. Okay? That's that's much better. I'm just giving you suggestions because you you need to improve your your presentation skills. You will need it. Yeah? So will, you will attend conferences, and that, that's important. Yeah? So, so. Okay. Continue. You guys have any questions? If not, I'll I will have many questions later, but you can continue. Let's go and go. I'm asking the others. Uh -huh. So, um, the last question is about how can low energy producing bacteria be related to the diabetes? Actually, the, they haven't do any experiment that is um, confirming its directly relation to its diabetes. But in, in this study, um, energy is acting as uh, it's actually a really potent some uh, glycine agents that is known to induce formation of um, AGEs, which is advanced glycation and products. 
that is um has been proved to involve in some glucose metabolism in some papers, and it has been confirmed that this AGE is, is indicated in, in diabetes. It has some phase some low here. Uh, and in this paper, in human cells, they proved that MG enhanced the um, phosphorylations of the phosphorylation. Um, H A K phosphorylation. Phosphorylations. Yeah. I no, no, you say phosphorylations. They enhance phosphorylation of. Yeah, you are right. Phospho phosphorylations. Of no, phosphorylation. Both H and so, H S T K. You again said phosphorylations. Okay. Phosphorylations. Phosphorylation. Phosphorylation. Yes. It's just my head. Yes. I know. I know. You need to drop. Of both AKT and SGK1 inhibit fossil and inducing nurses protein P21. So in future work, they might investigate the relation of AGE and proton metabolism. But right now, they, they haven't done any screen like that. Okay. So, so that, that's the, all questions. Were all Alex's questions, yeah. right? Okay. I had also some, some others that we saw that bring um, or maybe. Okay. I, I, I only see that you were summarizing the, the part. Oh, in, you, you probably didn't see my other questions. Um, maybe you can ask now or... Yeah, 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 I will. Yeah. Okay, um, do, do you have... Um, the figure. The figures, yes. Okay, let's, um, let's start. First, okay. So here, um, they screen a bunch of different uh, bacteria, <laughs> right? And uh, how do they, in the end, end up with only HNS? So they they show the whole screen, and they see that HNS is uh, like if you inhibit it, it's one of the, the most uh, enhancing, uh, longevity enhancing uh, genes when we take it. So, how come they can, came up with HNS for further studies, not sub A, not sub B, not mean K? Why HNS? I didn't understand this from the screen. And that's, that's also my question. That was one of my questions when I read it. Um, so but in they the, explain it in their in the results, in their logic, they explain why they why do they do this. So I'm asking you now, why did they do this? Why did they come up with HNS? That was one of my I think it's your particular interest. It's your interest. Oh. No, it's it's not you don't construct a story like that. It's not this. It's our interest in HNS. If it's their interest, they start with figure two. They don't include figure one. They included figure one in order to make it legitimate that they switch to figure two. Okay, here, uh, we can see the figure two. Uh, figure two said, uh, figure two A, uh, he said that uh, HNS is mutant. Uh, Cause it's, it's the extended the lifespan. Extended the track. No, no, I, I, William, why, why they say that? Why they choose it? They, they choose and exactly. they have to. That's my question. Why did they come, come yeah. up with HNS? So they, they have uh, 17 pro longevity mutations isolated. And, and then, then they say that E. coli action at genes, which encode action as, is of particular interest. Action as is transcriptional. Regulator that is highly conserved in an antiviral bacteria. And so, yeah, so they, they didn't actually really say the reasons here. They just say that these. Um, also, I think you stated somewhere that, uh, that 
there were three lines which were associated with uh, altered methyl black cell uh, excretion. And I was always interested in, in, in to that one, like how does it, including the HNS. I think you, you mentioned it somewhere. Do you remember that the three of those lines were as a with It's in bigger. So the the screen um the your screens identify two equal mutants of mg degrading enzymes as anti longevity mutants. Anti longevity mutants means like if you if you uh, which which panel are you referring to? Okay, so oh, sorry, it's not it's not the one. It's not. It, it's not it's not the same state. You know, I, I was confused because they start uh, the, the whole paper is called methyl black sound and so on the role of objective, but the first figure yeah. we see is about the uh, prolongevity and longevity. The second uh, top target is HNS, and then they switch to HNS. Nothing about MG. Like, MG is in the figure five. I know, I know. That's why I'm 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 wondering. Yeah. Was there some rational that they use HNS from the very beginning yeah. because it is known somehow to be uh, to be involved in this MG metabolism? This kind of link. I, I'm, yeah, missing, also... I'm missing the link for the for the uh, this initiation of the story. You know. They also say the MG lab is in the natural gas. It's a, where do they state that? Um, either, so that's later. That's later. That's later. Yes. Okay. So they, they say of this 17 pro longevity, HNS is of particular interest. And that's it. This is. Um, and also, in some, some parts of the introduction, that they, they say the AGE is. Is one of the NG um, compounds or something that they related to, to the diabetes, but they didn't do any of this. MG induced formation of advanced glycation end products through uh, non enzymatic reactions with proteins, lipids, and DNA. EGs have been implicated in diabetes and so on and so on. Right? Yeah, when I mentioned introduction, I was really interested in that. But yeah, okay. It is. okay, yes, so this bridge from figure one to figure two is for me a little bit elusive. So the, the reviewers and editor let it through, but I'm, I'm a little bit, it's not enough for me. It's kind of not a really good connection from the first figure to the second. To, uh, because of the first your, your title is uh, on the and yeah, before I did not uh, sell a code that uh, some people did HNS movement in uh, Nikolai and Kiri. Uh -huh. and, uh, they said they can generate a uh, 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 generator. Uh, I don't know what it's called. They call it CRM. Can, it, uh, can it extend the CRM themselves? Caloric restriction. Caloric restriction. CR is caloric restriction. Oh, yeah, yes, this one. They, they have reported this. They report that what? Uh, that if uh, uh, the HNS mutant, if the E. coli mutant uh, lost the gene in the HNS, yes. and they can generate CR to the extent of the second span, and they do the mechanism. Wait, 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 wait. CR is a challenge. But not, not to you see the challenge, but uh, uh, this kind of glucose like. I, I didn't remember. Oh, so oh, that's something different. Maybe that's a different issue. Yeah. 
that's, that's something else. They have some article. So, so it also uh, extends the lifespan. Yeah, it does. So I guess maybe they which is follow by which is similar to that. So I guess maybe they follow. Yeah, it's okay. 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 So, uh, so that was what what was missing for me. So for the bridge from the first to the second. Okay, let's go to the second, please. Yes. I had a question. You probably didn't see this. My mic is here. Um, what, what is the uh, difference between this percentage alive and percentage survival? Why do they show different products? What is this? What, what, is this, what is the difference in this uh, uh, down? For me, it sounds, it sounds the same. Why do they need to show separately A and F on one hand and C on the second hand? Okay, so you mean that why, why they are... Um... Oh, actually, from C is um is his stress. Oh, I know, I know it's his stress. No, I know it's his stress. Uh, uh, but the F, what, right? uh, why why they don't combine A? And why don't they combine A and F? And and why do they call it? Uh, I mean, that both is survival. It's confusing to call it like one is alive, the other one is survival. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's the same thing, actually. I think it's so misty. Yeah, so I think that they should be more clear in indicating maybe on the graph. The rhino had some yeah. stress. That would be much more, it's much more uh, clear. Um, okay, um, let's go to the, second, to, the, to the next one. So here. Can you please uh, delineate which of the uh, graphs are indicating the DAS 16 involvement and which are indicating the UPR 19 involvement? Because you, do, you were not very clear in your video. You, so, with the indication of this GAL E, EGD, CPSV, where, so that we are clear, you know, that you, you can understand that, you know? Uh, like what is this WCADEF? You you are referring to this, but you don't explain what is the gene. How 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 the hell should we know? You know, uh, if if you are not in the C elegance field, and if you are not the geneticist uh, C elegance geneticist, let uh, Gui Huan understand this, please. Okay, so do do you have an explanation? What does this panel D show to us? And, and panel H. So first divide all of them and just tell us, like you just use a mouse and just show it. Okay, so here this panel which is related to FUDR is related to this mitochondrial UPR, which is, and then just explain to us like what is this? And so well, if I were to explain it, I would say, okay, so they are hypothesis was since they see yeah. this, this uh, involvement of this pathway, they were wondering whether it was uh, related to uh, to one or another branch which could uh, activate uh, the uh, real longevity and whether it was death independent or related to some other effects which are known to be associated with the, uh, with, uh, the HNS. Uh, so figure three, a to figure 3C. Yes. This one is talking about the um, the CA. So what is CA? Do, do you guys know what is CA? See what is CA? Yeah. Yes, what is CA? <clears throat> so um, initially they have five E. coli mutants, including Ash and S. I think that that may be the part you are talking about. So it has been previously reported that it has um, higher level of extracellular polysaccharide CA. How is it? And it, how is it spelled out? 
What is C A? Uh, it is that the concept for that to uh, a cell paper that you find uh, if the column belongs station as that is the one. Yes, yes. C A. Yeah. C A. Uh, I, I don't know what the name of C A. Yes, let me know. No, don't don't tell me C A. Because what is the name? Polemic AC. Polemic AC. Don't talk CA to me, okay? Because CA could be whatever. It's yeah. maybe CIP, uh, right? Or whatever. MBR. Let's talk. Polemic uh, AC. Can you, can you ask that? Do you know what is CA? Shame on you. So don't do like that. We don't know the CA. I don't know what it's so funny as I heard it from yeah. about it for the first time. You know? So if if you know the question now, you see? No, first first let's say like that. First, as I understand, they refer to this previous cell paper where they already found the link of H and S would be CA, which is implicated in the longevity. And that's why they were looking for this, and that's why they, they proceeded with this A B C path. Is it what you wanted to say? Because we no, know, no, you, you just told, like, told me ABC yeah, yeah. is related to the CA. Yes, but, but in, in the um, paper, they they had something with the mitochondria. Excuse me? The mitochondria longevity. They are kept in the yards. So I'm trying to link with this. Wait a minute. Uh, was there a link with this CA somewhere here? Is were they trying to, to prove the uh, the, um, the involvement of how is it called cholanic acid? Yeah, cholanic acid. Yeah. Okay. Again. Uh, so I, 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 they are linking the CA with the uh, cholanic acid. acid. With, yeah, with what? Mitochondrial UPR. Okay. Mitochondrial longevity. Mitochondrial longevity. You mean that, long, that mitochondria can live longer inside the sea aliens? Or mitochondria, mitochondria associated longevity of sea aliens? What are you talking about? You said mitochondrial longevity. That's what you said. Activation of the mitochondrial longevity. Mitochondrial longevity no, means, C -A means that the mitochondria will live longer. No, I didn't yes. say that. Okay, but you just it's said It's a pathway of the you mitochondria. You need to, to be specific, yeah. okay? When you, when, you, when, you, when you say, wait a minute. So, uh, Dongfa, is it correct that like this uh, previous paper, they claim that uh, the inhibition of the HNS pathway leads to uh, kind of uh, release of this cholanic acid, right? Or how is it for uh, yes, yeah, so when the E. coli uh, loss of H and I yes, they can generate uh, they uh, generate cholanic acid which yes, is yes. for all longevity. Yes. Okay. And, and they do the deep cancer. Okay, okay. And and this paper refers to this. Yeah. To this and the literary material is for Okay. Before I did a report. I got it. Okay. Okay. Interesting. So, uh, and I bet they were trying to to show like what is uh, to kind of try to to reproduce or try to to see whether they see the same uh, like similar effects, right? For this polemic basis, mm -hmm. right? Is it is it correct? Mm -hmm. For the colonic acid and which which uh, panel demonstrate this that they are trying to uh, to to show this colonic acid dependent effects or they, or they didn't do this job. they did they both tried the independent dependent you mean so, colonic acid independent yeah. colonic acid yeah. so a to c they are tracking the independent effect and B. You mean colonic acid independent? Yes. Okay. And B is tracking the dependent. Colonic acid dependent. Yes. Okay. Okay. And they think what you said is that they uh, think that this colonic acid um, effect is also mediated by the mitochondrial uh, 
uh, pathway as well, or or it is an independent effect of HMS because 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 CA CA is um has been proved to in is ten CA like an longevity. No, what is this CPA, CPSB? Like what is this CP, CPSB? Yeah, I'm. I, um, uh -huh. I will explain. You're explaining, okay. So C A is acting on longevity effect of the C elegant through activation of mitochondrial longevity pathway, so which is UPR. And C so C C P S B mutant. Uh, has I haven't reached that point. No, we are talking about uh three A, right? You are talking about three A, right? Or not? I thought you you so you C S okay C P S B and. G A L E and U G D. Yes. From figure three A to figure three D. Yes. C C. Yes. They are encoding biosynthesis um biosynthesis enzymes for the C A um precursor G D P to close U D P genitals and U D P. So, so they, so are, they are important for the uh this this colonic acid yeah. production, right? So when they knock out in these mutants, they are creating the independent of that. Can you please write to this shirt again? Okay, this shirt. Um, okay, and I mean, the take home message from A to C is very clear. Yeah. Maybe you can just tell uh, to everybody else because maybe it's not very clear, uh, not, not clear to everyone. Because you are also uh, recording it for the video uh, for the YouTube. What is the take home message from the figure three A to C? So um, from figure three A to figure three D. I mean, you can um, we can uh. Because figure three H is FMDR, so it's um, three to three D that it, we can say that it demonstrates action as equivalent mutants is extending the lifespan of the C elegans through E. coli C A C elegant UPR independent mechanism. Wait, the 3A, 3B, 3C is related to the cholanic acid. Yes. So we can rule out that this pathway is involved here. But you didn't talk about 3D. 3, 3D is what? It's, it's tracking the dependent effect. So 3D. Uh, it's a mutation in WCADEF. Exactly. What is that? It encodes CA repeating real unit polymers. It's also involved in the synthesis of the colonic acid, right? Yes. yes. Okay, so it's also uh, related to this uh, colonic acid. So A, B, C, D, all of them, they have the same message. I'm, I'm just helping you. Yeah, okay? yeah. I'm just summarizing that the pro longevity effect of uh, the, um, the HNS mutant is independent of colonic acid production. Full stop. That is what A, B, C, D show us. That's a take-home message. That's what I expect to hear when I listen to the YouTube to the explanation. Okay, so that's very clear. Message. Okay, let's continue. Then we have E, F, G, H, I, J, okay, which is related uh, to the R. To they are checking because the it could be said that FUDR is playing some role to um, affecting the. The different shops skin the color. There is a skin in the end, which uh, they have. 
Marcus. Uh, yes. And it is also calling AC dependent. Yeah. So then there is this uh, it's blocking the expression of the uh, R. And, and this expression of U E R is uh, is uh, so the expression of of U B R is for multiple longevity, right? Yes. So if U D R should should inhibit longevity then. FUDR should be inhibited. So it's suppressing the PRs. Yes, and uh, you you said that this figure three A to three D shows that there is no relation to this uh, colonic acid metabolism in, in but um, in their final figure here, they show that it, it, it is involved, right? So they show that there is an inhibition of the RCSA, which was probably from the cell paper, I, I assume, for production of the, uh, the colonic acid. Okay, so let, let's, let's switch back to the figure Okay, so can you make this the similar take home message as I just did for the figures uh, A, B, C, D? This is the FPDR. Yes, to summarize the whole uh, experiment of this uh, UPR, much control UPR involved. What can we learn from this? Yeah, G, H, I, J, K. So um, the adding parallel to um, action S is also adding parallel to the DAP16 mechanism to um, enhance the CID lifespan through UPR dependent. And it also proved that um, FUDR is adding as a um, suppressor of the UPR mechanism to blocking this. In that uh, the the um, the, the uh, UPR and T is mediating the prolongevity effect of uh, of the HMS meters in contrast to the colonic Yeah. In contrast. No, we, that's what you just said. I think it's dependent mechanism. C-A-U-P-R, dependent mechanism. Wait, here in the ABCD, you say that it is colonic yeah, acid yeah. independent so, effect. Yeah, it's independent effect from 3A to 3D. Yes. So, um, what about well, the UPR? Okay, let's okay, let's go for each panel one by one. Okay, E F G. What is what what does the panel E show to us? Okay, take a message, please. Can you explain the E and F and G? It is not clear from the video, not clear at all. Yeah, F U D R is blocking U P R basically. Show, 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 show me use the mouse. You E to E, so it's reducing the intensity. You can see the GFP intensity by the PR impressions. GFP is saying for what? You can say, you can see here, it's to reduce the GFP. Well, I'm asking what is GFP standing for? HSP, which is the um, UPR. 
you PR reporter. PR reporter in the microphone. Yeah, yeah. In the microphone. So. The one part is no, no, you have to PR. And this, this minus, right? Minus UP is without you have to PR. This is this UP. And that is done before. This, they didn't label really clearly. I don't see any change here. Yeah, so that's the best. <laughs> Guys, I don't see here, like, what is the difference in E, left and right? Werner just said that there is a decrease of the, uh, of the uh, staining. I don't see the decrease of the staining. I'm sorry. And it's not a clear image they choose. If it's they don't clear. choose the, red, the clear image, this means that that's the best image they have. Mm -hmm. This is not convincing. I mean, you should choose the the uh, the um, um, how it called the, the representative image, yeah. And if this is if this is what they can show, this is the best they can show. I mean, sorry, <laughs> this is not convincing. Okay, so with that, we kind of question whether they have a fresh FUDR or not. Basically, because it seems it's not working. Okay, um, what do we see in F? In F, we see somewhat decrease of the uh, of the of the um, UPR and T probably because it is induced. So probably in this first image in the E, they don't have much to reduce because there is not, not much activity of UPR and T. And just help me. Yeah, that's, that's what I was expecting to do. F is the H, uh, H and S I know. Where we expect to have increased uh, UPR and T. Yeah. So that we have also something to inhibit. So we have a little bit more uh, contrast. We see a little bit more uh, difference between right and left. Okay, so we, maybe we can buy it. We can say, okay, so maybe in the controls, the intensity is low anyway, so you don't really see the difference uh, much. Uh, okay, and if we have HNS, M, R, P, S, 5, R, A, I, you didn't, didn't talk about that. Tell us about that. So this usually enhances this uh, UPR and T. What is it? It's some inhibitor. I, I assume this is some inhibitor of the UPRMT. Yeah, it is. Um, it is um, HRPS dash five is UPRMT in use. Of course. Yeah, we can see that. This we can see. Uh, we, we can guess. And then you can clearly see the, the, the decrease. Okay, but it doesn't tell us anything about the function because this is known already for a long time that UPRT can be inhibited by FUDR. It is just a quality control. So this is not, not an essential image. This just shows that this chemical is working. Um, okay, so what is more interesting is to see the, uh, uh, the and, and we can also see clearly uh, from the quantification data that there is like very tiny increase here, some increase here, and like very huge increase on, on the bottom. Okay, now the most interesting thing is H, I, J, K. So should I continue doing it? Uh, for you, yeah, yeah, or, or continue. You can, I can continue, really. <laughs> but this is your job. This is your job, but not mine. If you like this is how it should be. That's a digest. You know, you you so I can yeah. So figure H FUPR is reducing the lifespan of the dog leaf of NUO dash six meters. So it's uh, meaning that FUPR is actually um, directly acting on the mitochondrial Jaffe pathway because NUO 6 is um, 
It's one of them in the past meeting. So um, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. What what is N O six again? And how is it related to H and S? So mitochondrial okay. long 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 test. Mitochondrial what? Mitochondrial long 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 test. Okay. So what is the take home message from the so it failed to three H? Failed to suppress the <coughs> of these mutants. What failed to suppress? I, I don't they, they also measure the light. Sorry, rate. sorry, I didn't understand again. I didn't understand. What fails to suppress the longevity of those mutants? I should ask. There is no HNS there. Oh, no, so sorry, FUDR, FUDR. So, um, take home message is FUDR reduce the lifespan of the NUO. So, sorry, where, where do you <laughs> see that it failed to suppress? Do you see the black one? You think it failed to suppress? I, I see it did suppress. Are we talking about the same thing? Figure three H. You say it failed to suppress. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I did. So it, it reduced the lifespan of the NUO on both leaf and U U E Q E coli. It reduced. Sorry, it reduced the past. Yeah, no, that doesn't fail. Just it reduced the lifespan of the. And we all. Why do they show it? What is the point of showing it? So it inhibited the mitochondria uh, longevity pathway. Why do they show it here? Yeah. Because they're just saying that it reduces the uh, inhibiting the longevity pathway. Uh, this is not. This is not from before. Why did they show it here? I don't know. Maybe that that would go. That proves that the model works. Why do they yeah. use NUO6? Why don't they use the, just N2 for that? It just come out that they do this mutant they didn't no. expect. No. Well, there, there is a reason. You don't do experiments on a different line just because it, it, it is it is just just like that. Okay, uh, you don't know the answer. The other question: Why do you use UV killed tear gas? Um, uh, UVQ bacteria is being that that bacteria. Yes, why? They still have some metabolized here, but the, the bacteria will, will be died, but the metabolized is still here. I don't know. Um, no, what is? But they, they didn't. What is it? it? But for, for my understanding is... Yeah, they, they do explain this. When they write the story, they explain why they use NUO6, why they use UV killed. They write either in the methods or in the results. That kind of follows the logic. We need to understand the logic, you know, so the full picture. Okay, 
you so they, they're just uh, comparing that it uh, can reduce the uh, the mutant's lifespan when the E. coli is alive or that. <coughs> yes, there is a difference in the kill against uh, the alive. So I'm asking about those those questions like why do you use both alive and, and killed? What is the uh, assumption? What is the conclusion from this experiment? And why do they use the mutant? I understand that they are trying to show that the system is working, but uh, I want to understand why do they use this um, this panel and what do they take a message here? Okay, uh, okay, that's not not secure because uh, it's um, sort of more than one hour that we are talking. Uh, let's go to the IGA JK. So uh, IJK is uh, I is testing the dash sixteen mutants here, and it's testing that um, in the absence of the FUDR, neither of the dash sixteen. Or uh, APFS dash one mutants. What is APFS one? Like, uh, how, how can Guihua know about that? Or, yeah, I also or, or know you. If, if, every time I find it's really hard to find it. That's why it's helpful to have a pathway where you label those mutants. If those guys didn't do that, we need to do it uh, for, for ourselves, you know? So and that, that, that's about the, how you write the paper, how you construct the paper, how you make the figures, you know? If you have the figure where you label a life or surviving without stating that's actually the heat stress experiment, why not to write survival at or upon exposure to the heat stress. It's much more clear, you know, it makes pe people understand. And, you know, so that's, that's something which is missing here. So we are, sorry, uh, you have PNS authors, you have done a, a great job, but you see, so our Seattle specialist has problems to understand even in some of your panels, even after presenting three different videos and answering our questions. So, um, yeah, so please, please be more uh, uh, clear about what you write and how you write. So what is ATFS one? I gave you some time to find it. You didn't find it. Okay. <laughs> No, in the end, yes, it's double mutant. But what is it? It's one. Okay. Uh, it's a mitochondrial mutant in really wrong. But it it didn't. Um, I was need to do some research. They didn't say it. They just say they're using them. It's not. It's to understanding, uh, but of course they write about that. In, in the results, they, they write about that, why they do this. They write about the logic. Uh, but, okay. Um, so, what we see is this DAS-16 mutant, which is, uh, which is actually decreasing the longevity. Yeah? It can still uh, get a boost in longevity by the, in these HNS mutants. So it's a double mutant, right? Uh, no, no, it's not a double mutant, it's just uh, the bacteria are, are different. Okay, but didn't we have uh, in the second figure that there is no boost in longevity? So, yes, we do. So then I don't understand. Then you need to explain. Or not. Why 
in the figure um, 1F, we don't have a boost of longevity in uh, HNS mutants um, uh, in the DAP16 uh, mutated backbone, but in the figure 3, I we do. What is the difference? In both cases, we don't add FUDR. So why is the result different? Figure 2F. Figure 2F compared to figure 3C. Uh, 3I, excuse me. Three eyes. Three eyes without FUDR. Yes, and, 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 and two eyes is also without Chris. It with FUDR. Yeah. Why don't we say that? They didn't say anything. On Q, they on Q, the figure three session are about are saying that we find out some paper saying FUDR is blocking UDR. So they are continuing to check. Why so they didn't mention that they add a few yeah. in all their experiments? They, they didn't, they didn't mention. So that that's also one is, of is it, is it common to use a few DR in for for the uh, why the hell they no, do this? Because FUDR DR is it might have some bad result at or also C elegance. So mostly right now people don't use that. As yeah, most people know. Oh, okay, dear PNN authors, um, also, you know, so it's um, it's surprising to find out that the whole figure two is actually uh, done on the background of the FEDR. Uh, so it means that the figure three ABC also, ABCD also is done only FEDR plus FEDR. There is no mention of FUDR by extension. Really? Also, the figure four and five as well. Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure about that? Um, no. They state in the methods that, unless otherwise stated, FUDR was used for all experiments. Do they, do they write this? Is it true? <laughs> Okay, uh, I think we we don't have time to to just make this kind of long searches. But, um, let's continue for. YouTube is waiting. Um, so we need to get back to figure three because you need to summarize the figure IJA. So what is the take home message? Or maybe H I J K if you can. I don't think you can. So um So uh, we can see that action S is activating UPR and that system in parallel. And um, wait, it is from where? To, to from where? From where can you conclude it? Three I. Three I is what? Three K. Three I shows what? Three I is showing that um, the action as mutants is sending the mitochondrial uh, mutant object. Make a whole statement, the correct statement. Extend the lifespan of the depth sensing mutants. Also, ATFS dash one mutants. Wait, well, what does it mean? No, I, I'm asking about the, the three three I. We can see what what is three what is uh, depicted on three and three I. What does it mean? What is the take home message here?
So the, the lifespan extension of the HMS mutations is completely lost in the DEP16 and AGFS abilities when FUDR no, is no. absent. So it means. No, 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 it's wrong. It's not lost. It's not, all, not lost at all. By the way, they don't show any significances for this uh, life of X, life span of X. Um, probably they show it in the uh, fecal edges, but it's not enough dear DNAs authors. No, that's wrong conclusion. You say that the uh, HNS extending effect is lost in uh, ATFS and dot 16 mutants, and uh, figure A, I, and J, they show the opposite of what you, what you just said. Without FUDR, the extension is still existing. This means what? It means that FUDR is still. Is what? What does it mean? I mean, the, the figure three, I say that um, as she does, it's tending the that system of lifespan. Yes, what does it mean? That's the description of, of, of the figure, but what does it mean? Why did they do this experiment? Take a message. Because uh, it's that in my through the FUPR pathway to extend the. Yes. Yeah. This, thing, so this means that the extension. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes. I just have to say. No. No. I say parallel. No. No, I, I summarize the FU parallel. I asked you to summarize the. the, 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 okay. the we, we, I, like, what is AFTS again? Like, what is, and what is this J and K? Uh, what is the K? What is it? The, the K is double mutants, and they say what is it lost in the double mutants, which means that there are no, what is AFTS? It represents one of the um, UPR pass, you can say. You can say that. And that's the thing, that's the thing for so what does it mean? So they know how UPR genes, ATFS, and it still is handling it. So which means that it might activate the DAP system pathway here. So when they double mutants, they double up on the, these two genes, and it totally lost. So it means that they, they are these two okay. pathways like together. Exactly. So this pathway AI, the, the three I, is illustrating the involvement of UPRT, while the uh, figure three J is illustrating the involvement of the uh, the, um, the the DAS sixteen pathway. And the, if you lose both of them, then it's, it's, this effect is gone. So there, there are two uh, two additive effects. So this I, J, K are the key uh, panels for the whole figure. So those are the most important. All the, the rest are kind of negative data or some data just to check that the system is working. I, J, K, this is the key panels for, for the figure three. That's the, that's the main message here. Okay, let's go further. Let's go next. Thank you. Next one. The stage is yours. But do you have any question? No, you? just that is true. Like, tell us, like, what is this orange grass? What are these red ones? Like, it was not clear in the video, not clear at all. You were just stating. Mostly, just... I, I, I mean, it's, I was thinking just the questions coming out that I will answer. So, if, I, I need of to course, it again. If, if, no, Verna, if you that, do, that. do a nice job. In, in making this this video and explaining us that just we would have because more. the thing is that they, they didn't think with my thing so every time that's exactly what why we need sometimes we present here 
very good papers. Sometimes we present here in very bad papers. This is not a very bad paper. It's it's a good paper, guys from the PNS. It's a good paper, but uh, you know our our C elegance uh, lady is is having problems to 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 even digest it for you. Okay, um, let's uh, let's do it together. Okay, so let's, let's go for this. Um, a, B, C, D first. Or how do you want to go for A first? Or what? You know, I, I just need some time to find out the, the sentence again. I... I mean, I mean, we cannot, we cannot let let, uh, let the YouTubers wait, you know. So we can't have just five minutes of a break when, when you're uh, looking for. So you want every paper to be. I, I want to understand the paper. This is we are not even going for the supplement. Do they have supplementary images or uh, or data? Do they? Yeah. Yes, we don't even go for that. We go only for the main ones. We want to, to understand the logic. We cannot believe what they say before we see the data, right? Because we are scientists, we need to criticize. So that's what, what, what we want to, to see each of the data points, one by one. Okay, so this panel manages to say that um, we call it action S, modulates the longevity during talk. FGK instead of IAS, that that to relative pass rate. So um, uh, sorry, can you repeat it, please? It's a very more much based on longevity through talk. What 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 module? SGK, HNS, mutants. Panel. You said this panel. Which panel? This whole panel. Summarized. No, that's called figure. Yeah, this whole figure summarized. No, we, we, we can see the title of this figure, yeah. yes. But we don't believe it. the title of the figure because before we really see the data. So guide us through, please. Let us through the data. Can you make it take a message for the group of uh, um, no, just... ABCD? From figure A to figure D. Yes. They are checking um, some IIS step to relative mutants. IIS, please uh, tell us that this insulin, insulin uh, yeah, growth factor, growth factor and pathway, pathway related ones. related mutants, and they try to um, see whether action S is adding all this pathway, and the result confirmed that action S modulates of deficit inactivity is which is independently of the IAS. Why do you see this? Why? You can see it in the, the figures. Um, a further increased lifespan of all tests, IAS compromise C elements. So it's 10 the IAS meters lifespan. Further is that so it means that these genes is not um, it's not involved. I think when they use RNA interference to knock out uh, knock out uh, IRS pathway genes, uh, when they use nature as mutant, they can also extend the elegant lifespan. So, so, which so, means the so, gene is not involved in, yes. in the HNS. You mean which which one is RNA? Uh, 
uh, interference on. Oh, E and uh, M, it oh, E, right. Yeah. Hmm. Well, um, you know, my problem is that the mutant of uh, the DAF2 or H1, they extend longevity by, by themselves. Yes. And the effect what we are studying is also extending. It is not counteracting. So I... I uh, no, when, when you block the DAF2, it is tended. So which means that the DAF2 pathway is done. No, I don't. It's, it's gone. It's gone in this mutant and it's still is tended. Which means that it's adding another. Right. It's further extended, yeah. So which means that there is something else. It cannot it cannot reduce if, because if if we have insulin BI3 kinase APT, which is inhibiting um, that 16. And it is gone. And, and by that, we have activation of, of uh, the um, DAF 16. Right? We still have the additional effect of the uh, HNS mutant uh, for the, all the longevity. Can we absolutely exclude uh, that? That that too is involved in activation of da sixteen here, and it is uh, that HNS is also acting by a that one way. Yeah, the those um so not quite sure about that. You know, my, my point is always like that. If we have some counteractive effect, yeah, you know, like da sixteen mutant, then we can clearly see. Okay, so if if it is counteracting, uh, and it is reducing longevity. But you can still have the increase of longevity, for example, by this FUD R minus, FUD R minus. Yeah, then then we can see that yeah, so that, that breaks. Or for example, if it doesn't break, then it is going by the dust that, that, that sixteen. But if it is an opposite fact that uh, that we have longevity increase in that two mutants, and then they further increase in uh, HMS. Does it hundred percent proves that HNS mutant does uh, not interfere with this IIS signaling? I'm not quite sure about that. Okay, uh, and you. Uh, this is about age. Age one is also like uh, uh, in this IIS uh, upstream mm -hmm. of DAX sixteen, right? Yes. What about the? Um, so here in the AKT1, AKT2, uh, we, we see the effect basically which is almost unchanged. Right. So there is still extension. Okay, so, uh, but overall, yeah, we can, we can buy it. We can say that... Oh, extension. Yeah, we can say that probably there is something else. Which is which is actually uh, working, not on this pathway. Okay, probably we can buy it. Good. So, what about EF? EF is about the uh, the different way how to do this, right? Sorry, I'm doing it for you, right? Um, or, or you want to continue for the EF? Um, so E is um, you know we have in very many. That is impossible. So they are trying to um, confirm that that's uh, actually at exactly on that state independently of the that two pathway. So to to really confirm this, they make up the mutants of that system as well. This um, in all three as So um. What, what kind of isoform is that? Seems just some phosphor. Because the DAF system has, has to work when it's for phosphor, right? So, and it has some. It blows the relation of DAF 16? 
Yeah, all, all of the batches must upload in this. Basic, sorry, say it again. So to confirm, uh, to make sure the batch testing is all blocked in this mutants, they use some type of uh, things to block the, the whole isoprop of the depth testing in these mutants. You can just say that depth testing is all lost in this mutant, ST, S3D. And then they... Um, sorry. You can understand me? No. <laughs> STS3D, STS3D, <coughs> Newton, what does it do? So all isoform that test is the, it's a bondage thing. Which, which isoforms are you talking about? SDR, THR. Uh, something like that. <coughs> so yeah, so isoform, but, but, but the, the thing is just saying that in this Newton, that system activity is all blocked. Block, block. Blocking the it blocks phosphorylation of DAF16. Oh, By that, it, it uh, blocks the activation of DAF16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what you want to say. So it's all blocking this new. Okay. <laughs> And so figure three, figure three, no uh, we have four, P, four e, yes mm -hmm. figure four e let's say that there's a depth system web type mutants and then depth system um st and three d mutant and in both mutants depth two RNI. yes lifespan extension was a completely Not in one tag. Not oh, in one tag. Huh? If the insulin signaling is blocked, then DAF16 is being activated in wild tag, but not in the mutants. So this just shows that this, this just shows that the system works. So E is yeah, just you know to show that the system works. Now the key is the bigger F. What do we see? As, as it increases the longevity of the depth system STS3D appear to This is actual. It's still below the longevity of the depth system. And that system increases the longevity. Yeah, yeah. It's not good to say prolonged longevity. Um, increase, increase longevity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, which means that there might be. There might be something upstream to activate. Upstream of what? The depth system. That's wrong. I think that there might be some if, if there would be something upstream, that no, 16 no, 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 is still no, no. unactivatable. It's not activatable. There might be something to still increase the that system. In parallel. In parallel. Yeah, 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 yeah. Which would it be? So they can need to check. So they yeah, check. But don't we know it from the figure three already? Yeah, we know it from two or three already, which is torque. Um, what? Talk substrate. Uh, 
oder nicht? Tag 16 ist not able to be activated by anything. Here. But you can block the, you can um, add another pathway to um, affect the DAF16 uh, uh, transcriptions. Then, then they prove that um, it's through the RIP1. Right. 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 You say that in figure F, there is something upstream of DAF16, which can activate No, 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 not upstream. So you just said. Some parallel um, parallel pathway. Yeah, but we know it already from the figure three, which pathway is that? UPR, I mean. Yes. In the figure three, we show that there are two pathways. Actually, there is the uh, uh, DAF16 and, and the UPR. This is good one, but I don't know why. Just continue to find this one. Sorry? They still continue to find another one. They didn't mention the PR there. Yes, but the figure F tells us that there is another one. Yeah, yeah, there is another. And we know from the figure three which is that the one because we, we know that two pathways are yeah, sufficient. So if you have one or another, you have the effect. If you blow both of them, you, it is gone. So we can assume that this UPRMT is the one which is shown here also on the figure F, which is extending the longevity in the absence of the activatable DAF16. Don't you agree with me? I agree, but they, they still claim that they, they, they want to find other regulators. Other regulators upstream of, of DAF16 or parallel. Okay. I think they wanted to to to, to start to, to find upstream, but that was not the, the take-home message for the figure F. So figure F is a confirmation of a fi uh, figure three uh, J. Actually. Yeah, I think they they should do something. I'm still a little confused. Okay, whatever. Figure which one? Uh, figure F. If they need to have figure F. Figure F. Some sort of figure or or F. Yes. So you see, so both in the wild tag, DAF16, and the uh, mutant non-activatable DAF16, you see that you have the extension of the lifespan by HNS mutant. This means that there is another pathway through which... Um, I didn't claim which pathway, right? We, we know it from the figure three already, which one. For me, what is uh, not very clear here is that it seems we don't have the additive effect, that there is a component of the DAF16 to increase the longevity, as well as this additional component of this UPRMT. Because in that case, this second line would, would, be, uh, would extend this white uh, uh, this DAF16 wild tag HNS mutant line, this white one. Very nice. Follow me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should, it should have extended further yeah. because it has both components, both DAF16 and this uh, UPRMT. But instead, it is the same as, as if it is kind of going through the same pathway. So this is a little bit uh, surprising for me. It shouldn't be necessarily additive. Not everything in biology is additive. It could be like cooperative. But if it is a parallel pathway, then, then uh, it might also add uh, additive. So um, that's. Uh, and also, that they should have some center, uh, as you say, that from F of four, from four F. They should have some sense to say that it's confirmation of UPR. Well, it's it's not necessary. We can deduce it just by, by having this data. It, it yeah, is, but, 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 but they, they then say that they want to find other regulators. Other regulators upstream of DAF16. That's what they want to find, as I understand. 
yeah, which which cannot be found from the figure F, of course, because in figure F you have unactivatable depth system. So, um, yeah. yeah. So okay. they check of A K two and J K S E M K, which is uh, upstream regulator of depth system, and in the supplement they what, uh, which, that there is no effect here. Okay. Uh, uh huh. So we 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 don't we don't mention these data here yeah, yeah, because they are in the supplement. So they they check which one which ones A K T J K J and K and and what S A S M K S M K S M K and and they show that there is uh, no effect. So it's similar as that that two and yeah. A K T one A K T one. So there is it doesn't go by this pattern, right? Okay. So we go to the figure G H, right? Figure four G H. So should should we finish today, or should we make another video? Um, so should I schedule another meeting <coughs> because we are already uh, discussing for two hours. I think it's not physiological to have such long long uh, long meeting. What do you think? We still have. We still have a lot to discuss. Many. Yeah, let's let's finish on figure four, maybe. Yeah. And then we can make uh, a break so the verb can have time to prepare, um, or maybe even she can record another video for figure four, five, and six, so we can uh, ask her more questions. Okay. And and then uh, then we can make another meeting. I can book uh, the room again on the next. Tuesday or Thursday, as you prefer, so that we can we can do it. Okay. As okay. But let's finish Figure Four today. Okay. Okay. Figure Four G and H. Oh, G and H is also um, trying to prove that 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 two is not is not involved. Um, you can say you can see that. It's nuclear translocations of the depth system. Nuclear translocation. In, in that sorry, 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 Bernard, Bernard. What? Nuclear. Translocations. Translocation. Translocation. Uh, so it, you can say that there is a depth to RNI mutants and what um what type and also action S. Action S worms. And they checking the that system signal here, and so it's they not... see that. Okay. Actually, S did not induce the that system signal. Need it. Um, not clear. You, you, it's not clear for you why why the hell it doesn't induce the DAF16 signal if they proved before that uh, that the effect of longevity is dependent on DAF16. Yeah. Right? Which is strange. Um, why don't we see the increase of DAF16 signal here? It's not clear. And moreover, nuclear translocation dictates the um, for me the, the function the, the function of uh, of the DAF sixteen pathway and the activity of it. So it is also critical. And here we see even the decrease of the nuclear translocation, don't we? Do you see? There is decrease of the nuclear yeah. fraction. It, it is not. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably it is not um, um, not significant, but uh, because they they don't really compare each of the factions. They they just compare the whole thing. Maybe they do it on purpose. Do not show that there is a significant decrease of the intermediate or nuclear factions. You know, to just you know to hide that there is a kind of something which is like opposite to what. Okay, so 
They, they, they say that, okay, tell me. that actually us does not induce the deficit in nuclear translocations, but it's translocation, but translocation, translocation, but no, 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 yeah, but it enhances the deficit in transcriptional activity in the nucleus rather than the. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, so it means that it is probably because of the phosphorylation of it, but not yeah, yeah. via the, the, the physical um, translocation. Okay, that's interesting. We can buy it, but first we need to see if we, we don't believe it before we, uh, we can prove it. Okay, but just for, for um, uh, uh, let, let's, let's, let's keep it uh, also uh, in mind. That they didn't include the um, the comparison, the statistical comparison of the nuclear faction as well as this intermediate faction, because it might be that there is a significant decline actually. And just just let's uh, also uh, see that. And, um, In fact, the whole thing is like just 100%. So this means that they do compare, they, they do compare some of those. Um, so probably the, the, what the, the significance which are shown above are about the nuclear section, right? Uh, let us see the figure H, uh, figure legend, I'm just checking. H. Yes. Um, yes. So the, the these spiders, I call those things spiders on, on the top, like just to compare with them. They show uh, it is not significant. That is for the nuclear action. I got it. Okay. okay. Now we see. Okay. By the way, it is misleading to include this NS spider as well. Mm -hmm. If it is not significant, just don't include it, dear ENS ops. This, then everybody knows that if you don't have any kind of uh, the, uh, after risks, meaning it's not significant. That would be uh, assumed. Um, okay, um, then let's go to the figure IJKL, and then we will, we will finish for uh, today's uh, session. Okay, then they um, testing the, the torque. They next asked whether torque, um, also known as PDK2, was involved in the light span regulations. So at grid one, RICT-1 is the essential components of the torque. So oh, um, they are using the- two, Sorry, context. Context. Yeah. Right. yeah. So this BW2551-3 is uh, no, rigged, rigged one is, uh, is, is the torque complex uh, two inhibitor, isn't it? Richter, this is Richter, right? Yeah. Yeah, yes, what? Yes. It's is a component it, yeah. of the torque. Is it an torque. inhibitor of torque complex two? You, you mean rigged one? Yes. No. no. It's not. No, it's not. So um, they used the RIP1 nucleotide, which has a short, shorter lifespan compared to the wild type on um, E. coli and B strand of P15. What is BW2551? It's using as the uh, uh, torque complex two. For the, the initial screen of the uh, E. coli lifespan in bigger one. Uh, yeah. They, they just test to make sure that both of the OPPT strands make sure that the RIP1 is, is tested on both E. coli strands. Because it's in the initial screen, they are using, they're not using OP50 to compare. They're using the, the B strand and also K12 strand. At first, they use the BW2, yeah, yeah. 5, 1, 3, 2 yes. to establish the OP, uh, sorry, you call it uh, 
uh, no color to that. Yeah, yes. So but they, they had two screens, as far as I remember. There, there was the first screen with just three uh, three brigades, I think, that was done on the V or K. Uh, uh, on which one? Hmm? What? I was, asking, I was just asking about the two screens, yeah? So you said. So the. Um, so in the one, the first um, light spans three. Do you see the. The K12 strand? Yes, and when would you use the VW? The VW is used as parental strands of the uh, HNS. Okay. Both of the HNS and VW are E. coli K12 background. Okay. What do we see in this uh, figure for I? Um, we can see that you call that K twelve is is tending the the red one. Yeah. Oh, uh, the red one mutants live, live longer in the BW thread compared to the OPE. Yeah. Yeah. So, Big Joanna, which is uh, the component of the Tor complex 2. Yeah. Yeah. Is uh, an anti longevity gene. Yes. So, if you activate it, uh, so if you inhibit it, then you, you, you have the, the, uh, the longevity extension, which is not happening in the OP50. What is the take home message here? Why does OP50 fail to uh, inhibit longevity? Why does it inhibit longevity actually? The lack of or complex two in an OP50 background can lead to the decrease of the jet. Such a huge decrease. Why is TORC2 essential for the OP50 C elements? Explain it. Okay, so let us let us leave it as an open question for you for the next um, for our next meeting. Okay, so but let's continue to the JKL. Okay, so remember we we still this uh, answer this question. We also answer the question about the figure three page about this UV kill and as well as NU six, which you didn't answer. So please. Don't leave those questions unanswered, okay? Also check my uh, answers, uh, my questions in YouTube, uh, which you didn't, uh, didn't answer today. Uh, and also like guys, you, everyone is welcome to ask.
also in YouTube. We have comments there. So we just, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go for JK now. Good. Okay, let's do like that. So let's let's finish also the the figure four uh, in, the, in our next session. Uh, when do we do it? Next Tuesday, next uh, Thursday. When do when do we uh, when do we prefer? What is the time to prefer? Thursday or, or Tuesday is better. Tuesday? Yes. Uh, Thursday better. Thursday is better. Yeah. But Alex has a class. So no, that's not a great time anyway. And, uh, so we we used to have the other class on, on Tuesdays. Let's do it on Tuesday then, right? Should we? Tuesday morning, 9.30? Okay. Okay, okay good. Okay, um, so let's, let's wrap up. Now we can stop the recording.